Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The constitution and all the laws that are legislated, legislated in parliament are above the tradition and precedence. Article 74 of the constitution is very instructive that 74.2 that the leader of government shall be elected by the opposition party with the largest number of MPs from M among their MPs in Parliament among the opposition MPs in Parliament how do you go to 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 to, to pay the solidarity with a woman who has abrogated the Constitution with impunity there are better ways of looking for jobs. And you deserve to, uh, to apologize to the people of Zambia. In Bemba we say, Akanyele lenga waka kosela kalasuma. Nangu akanyele lenga waka kosela kuchikaleto msevanya. This is exactly what the speaker did. Our MPs, opposition MPs, cannot debate in that parliament. They are curtailed from debating. They are stopped from going in a particular way of debating. And above all, the Speaker of the National Assembly received a letter from a person who has no local standard to represent the PF and recognize that letter and change the leader of government by a mere correspondence from a purported secretary general of PF who everybody including a young child knows that Ingona is not the secretary general of PF and change the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the leader of the opposition and change the whip of the opposition. That is pure abuse of authority. And we expected you as NGOCC to say that we cannot accept this nonsense. And I'm using the word for a lack of a better term. What happened is nonsense. It is not supported by any legal provision. Now, listen to this. Grace Parliament. Elova speaker, stop being arrogant. Vanelli meeting them ever. People who have been arrogant in government when they are wrong, they tend to suffer after leaving office. Vanelli meet Mukadila Owe, Mwele Samuali Kui. And yet you are creating your own problems. Why can't you people for once? behave the way people behave in the western world such that when you make a mistake like the one you made you simply say I tender my apology and resign on moral grounds that is what is expected of you but for you to be saying I have not committed any offense I have not done anything wrong when you have broke, abrogated the constitution which you are supposed to, to protect and defend as the leader of a body that is a, 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 a given a responsibility to legislate the same laws 
By the way, there will be no constitution if it has not been approved by parliament. Now, if you are the leader of an institution or a wing of government like parliament which makes the laws and you are the first one to abrogate those laws, you deserve to be impeached. If you are not impeached, you must resign on moral grounds. Every time I say, and I want to say this, that you have problems to become a multi-chino child, they are self-inflicting. Because, I'm sorry to say that. Even when we are seeing that things are going wrong, we want to pretend that everything is alright. To the extent that a well-respected body like NGOCC, all the affiliates to NGOCC, please withdraw your affiliation. Those women are not representing the people of Zambia and not representing, uh, uh, acting according to their mandate. They are looking for jobs. Just like we saw Mrs. Mulenga as a talk before she was appointed was always in support of government until she was given that position as ambassador. And I'm rightly uh, informed that she hasn't even left for the new station. And you think you can all be appointed like Mrs. Mulenga if you support the government of the, the day, whether they make a mistake or not. Insonia won't. Listen to this. We have been trying to approach the registrar of societies from the time that Mao Sampa made that sham of a, of a, 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 a general conference, which is not supported by any statute provided for by the PF uh, uh, constitution. And we've had very big problem to conduct a search. All the people were sent to do searches were refused, that they were not allowing anybody to do a search on the PF file. Now, thank God that our legal system, our legal system, has certain people who have integrity and do not want to lose integrity. Our lawyers, Makebi Zulu, went and obtained a court order, ordering the Registrar of Societies to give us the status as regards who are the office bearers of the patriotic front. Obviously the aim was for us to establish whether indeed the registrar of societies had changed the office bearers. Thank you, Mrs. Tandiwe Piri. Though we hear that she has been removed today as a result of releasing this document under a court order which is also illegal my sister don't worry you are a hero you are a hero today makebi zulu went to conduct a search with a court order and we were given a printout of who are the registered office bearers of pf Remember, the Speaker of the National Assembly, through the clerk, misled this country, this country and the nation that they had carried out a search and found out that Mao Sampa was the official president of the PF as per records at the the records as that registrar still stands. The following are the registered office bearers officially as at today the 13th day of november bernadette mvula daniel miambo davis mwila davis chama ediga chagwalungu efrem chisumbe inonge mutukawina john mutenye john mutekenya si Richard Richard 
Chanda M and Sylvia Chalikosa simply meaning affirmatively that the registrar of societies has lived above board because she's a lawyer under very difficult circumstances she refused to alter the records at the registrar because it is subject to subjudice that when a matter is in court you cannot alter the records kudos to Tandiwe and our officers at the registrar of societies at least we can have confidence that there are women and men of integrity who can stand by what is the truth now where does this leave the speaker of the national assembly and the clerk of the national assembly yeah, well, there's only one thing to do the speaker must resign on moral grounds one for misleading this country two for accepting an authorized person to start changing names and positions at parliament without following the due process of the law there is no way and absolutely no way that we can allow a fraud in the name of speaker of the national assembly to remain in that position together with the clerk of the national assembly two days ago i did say that i am extremely shocked that the speaker who is a lawyer and the clerk of the national assembly who is a lawyer who has even done drafting can entertain Mao's warrior Sampa. But you know, when you are acting on political pressure from the office of the president, this is the result that people can lose their integrity. But thanks to Tandiwe Piri, she has stood the test of time. And I told you, I gave you several examples. That when I was in NDC, Honorable Mwenyamu Seng also attempted to alter records at the registrar when we had a dispute and the matter was in court. The registrar refused. The same Tandiwe. So to those who think that Tandiwe has done this because she's favoring the PF, that is the nature of Tandiwe Piri. She's a law-abiding citizen who follows the statute to the latter. She refused to change the, the, the office bearers. She said until this matter is concluded in court. Second, the issue of Ari Kalaba and uh, 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 Nkonge and Judith. She also refused to change office bearers. The issue of the MMD, she also refused to change uh, office bearers, which shows that this woman is a woman of integrity. But what has happened to her today? We were told in the morning that just when she released the document and the powers that be realized and got wind of the fact that she had released the current status at the Registrar of Societies concerning PF, she was threatened and she was told that if by 15 hours she did not alter or change the status quo to include Mao Sampa and these minions, she will be fired. And true to that threat, we are reliably informed that she has been handed over to Public Service Management Division for redeployment. What a government. I have said, and I want to say it again, that in Sony Ubuntu, President Aga Chilema, President Aga Inde Ichilema, President Aga Inde Ichilema, how many times have I called you? Jack Mwimbu, Jack Mwimbu, Jack Mwimbu, how many times have I called you? Hagafumba Joseph, Hagafumba Joseph, Hagafumba Joseph, how many times have I called you? And your other peers at Home Affairs. Gentlemen, we now ama integrity The integrity is that you've built over a long period of time. You want to destroy them. What has Tandiwe done to deserve to be treated the way she has been treated? Mwena Zambia Papa, please rise and speak. 
We have over 300 sewer servants who have been uh, dumped at public service management division awaiting redeployment. In their positions, they have replaced other people. And you know the people that they have replaced them. And you know those who have been uh, 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 shunted at PSMD and the reasons why, why they have been shunted there. And then we want to keep quiet. Nam papat. Nafkama. Baichech. Nam fkamika. Nam fkamina. Na papata. Nam fkamina. Mule kenyu mwana wabe ni tandiwe. Ale bombe nchitoba mupela. Leave tandiwe. Tan, tandiwe piri in a position. I kneel down to plead with you in a very good way, sober way. Leave Tandiwe alone. HH Jack Mwimbu Naaka Fumba. Because Bane, this abuse of authority will not go unpunished. Somebody will have to come and pay. Mayor standing up to the constitution, she can be removed from her position merely telling you that what you are all doing is playing politics is not right is not supported by any statute you go and remove i hope it is not true but there is a letter circulating on social media that she has been written to advising her that she, she has been uh, uh, handed over to public service management division we knew about this by about 11 hours we were told that she has been threatened, she has been castigated by the, some permanent secretary, that she should defect the changes because this is going to make government look bad in the eyes of the world. Now, Mr. Banakai, but speaker, my longa moyaku office, mukaye kwa ta press conference and resign. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.